Show me your faith without deeds, and I will show you my faith by my deeds. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. It was a September afternoon in the year 1240, and St. Clair of Assisi was praying before the tabernacle in her convent chapel. She was surrounded by her small community of sisters. There was an intensity in the eyes of the Holy Sister as she begged the Lord to protect her monastery. The monastery was in need of divine assistance. The sisters had not gathered into the chapel for evening prayers. They were there because they were fleeing. Their monastery was being invaded. An army of Saracens, Muslim soldiers, under the pay of Emperor Frederick II of Sweden, had been ordered to seize control of their hilltop monastery and to transform it into a garrison. The sisters prayed ardently as they heard the increasing noise, the sounds of the soldiers drawing closer, and then the pounding at the door of the convent. It only seemed a matter of time, but then something happened. St. Clair, in the intimacy of prayer, heard a voice coming from the tabernacle, the voice of a child. It was as if the child Jesus was speaking to her, and he was saying, I will always protect your convent. I will always protect you. With these consoling words, St. Clair was inspired to rise up, to open the tabernacle door and to place the lunette containing the Blessed Sacrament into the monstrance. She was impelled by the Holy Spirit and picked up the monstrance and carried it to the door of the convent. The sisters arrived at the door just as the barbarians were breaking in, but to the astonishment of the other sisters, as St. Clair held up Jesus Christ in clothes within the monstrance, a sudden fear seized the invaders. They screamed with terror. What they saw, we do not know. But it was surely a miracle. The convent was saved, saved the power by the power of Jesus Christ, present in the Blessed Sacrament. And I'm mentioning this story today because in our epistle we read from the letter of St. James, You show me your faith without deeds, and I will show you my faith by my deeds. We have to show our faith by our works. It's not enough to say, yes, Lord, I believe. We have to then keep the commandments. And St. Clair shows us how devotion to the Blessed Sacrament ought to translate into deeds. If it's just words, it isn't real faith at all. St. Clair realized this. Our Lord told her, I will always protect your convent. And she acted on those words, carrying the monstrance to the door. She challenged him to keep his word. And as always, he was true to it. I don't need to tell you this, but it isn't obvious that our Lord is present in the Blessed Sacrament. It's not. The one we worship looks like bread and tastes like bread. And yet because he said it and he is God, we believe, we trust him. But how are you showing this faith by your works? Because like St. James says, I will show you my faith is real by showing you my deeds. What is it in your action the way you behave, the way that you live, that shows the world that you believe that the Lord is truly here, really substantially present in Holy Communion. There's all kinds of little things we all should be doing, making the sign of the cross when we pass a church, a Catholic church that is, where our Lord is actually present in the Blessed Sacrament, genuflecting whenever we pass the tabernacle, receiving our Lord only with preparation and of course in the state of grace and then receiving our Lord with as much devotion and reverence as possible and that means kneeling down and receiving our Lord on the tongue this is non-negotiable if you're afraid of getting some virus don't receive our Lord remain in your bench if some priest is telling you you've got to receive our Lord in your hands Remain in your bench. How pleasing it is to our Lord when people remain kneeling in their place 
out of love for him, out of love for his real presence. Perhaps you've been distracted at Holy Mass. Remain in your place out of love. Perhaps you have to go quite soon after Mass and won't be able to make a 15-minute thanksgiving. Remain in your place out of love. We show our faith in this powerful, dangerous sacrament by abstaining when it's necessary. And we show as much devotion as when we receive him with utter reverence. Think about this. Think about this. If our CCTV cameras were stolen and someone looked back over this holy mass, would just looking at the film be enough for that person to realize the thing that the priest is holding? That round thing must be special. Those people must believe that that small round thing is divine, is God himself, Jesus Christ, their behavior, their devotion. There's something out of this world going on in this video. I don't think so. How often everything is all so ordered. The prosaic queuing up, the emotionless faces, the routine formulaic reception of the King of Kings, the hasty sign of the cross as you get back to your pew. Enough, enough. Let it be clear that you love him. Let it be clear that you believe that this is Almighty God. And priests, I'm talking to you as well. Let the CCTV cameras read this loud and clear. A little while ago, there was uh, the results of some survey about the faith of American Catholics in the real presence. Apparently, according to the survey, something like 20% believe our Lord is really present in Holy Communion. 20%? What a joke. It's not 20%. It's 1%. Look around you at Holy Mass. Does it look like 20% of the people there, 20% of the people there are living, are living an intense devotion towards the Blessed Sacrament? Maybe 20% of people, maybe 20 of people are saying they believe in the real presence, but it doesn't look like it. That faith is not real. Sometimes when it comes to the distribution of Holy Communion at Holy Mass, Ecce Agnus Dei, Ecce Quitole Peccato Mundi. I'm tempted to cry out, you don't believe this. You don't believe this at all. You don't believe this piece of bread has stopped being bread and has become Jesus Christ. You don't believe this is like a fire, a fire which can burn you up, a fire which can make you shine like gold or burn you up like straw. You don't believe that this is a he, a he and not an it. I'm not convinced. Stay in your benches. Come forward, only those who truly believe. Come forward, only those willing to suffer. Only those willing to be mocked. Only those willing to kneel down with utmost humility. Only those willing to actually prove they believe all that they are saying. And to prove it, by remaining with him and speaking to him while those with little faith rush off for coffee and donuts in the parish hall. You've got to stay behind. You've got to make at least a 15 minute thanksgiving. Each one of us, each one of us needs to try each day to have a greater devotion towards Jesus Christ present in the Blessed Sacrament and to show this faith by physically acknowledging his presence, by keeping our souls clean, by regular confession, and by devoutly receiving him, as Our Lady did, as the saints did. Because the God we are dealing with, Almighty God, our God, is a consuming fire. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.